Ultimate Vocal Warm Up. It's part three with Sarah Lucy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Ultimate Vocal Warm Up. Pew, 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 pew. Effects, effects. I'm not going to put in effects, don't expect them, that's not my job. <laughs> in case you don't know already, I'm Sarah Lucy and along with Luke and Sam, we're going to be bringing you some vocal warm-up exercise videos. Why don't we start with a physical warm-up? Now as a side note, remember that these exercises, the more that you put into them, the more that you'll get out of them. So, up on your feet. So, the first thing that you want to do, we're just going to think about our stance, how we are standing. So a little tip that I like to do, put your feet together like this. Unfortunately, I can't get the camera to show my feet, but I'll demonstrate it with my hands. Get your feet together like this and then bring the toes out. I believe this is first position in ballet, if you know that. I'm afraid I don't, I'm just going off what I've been told. So go for that. Lift up your heels and then bring them so they're now sat comfortably behind where your toes are and have a look down at your feet. They should be nice and parallel under both your hips and your shoulders. Why don't you give that a wiggle for me? Give that a bit of a wiggle. Shift your weight from one side of your body to the other. So now that we've got our stance sorted, we're going to think about a little bit of tension. That might seem a little bit bizarre. That's not normally what a singing teacher would want you to do. They're right, don't worry, we're gonna get there in just a second. If you want to close your eyes for this bit, close your eyes. I want you to focus on your toes. Scrunch up your toes for me. Scrunch that up, feel the tension building there. Feel that tension building up your legs. Lock your knees back, and you might start to feel that already there's a bit more tension in your thighs and in your uh, lower abdomen here. And I want you to let that tension start to grow all over. You're going to ball your hands into fists. Let your jaw clench. And we're going to hold it for three more seconds. Feel as much of that tension as possible. One, two, three. And then it's like someone's cracked an egg on top of your head. You're going to feel that relaxation going back down through all those aspects of the body we talked about. We're talking about your fingers, we're talking about your wrists, elbows, shoulders, chest, stomach, hips, thighs, knees. Make sure those knees are unlocked. In fact, why don't you bend those knees back again, get them locked again, lock them, you'll feel the tension there, and then bob down, and you can make sure that they're nice and relaxed. Shake out each leg for me. A shake, 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 shake. Lovely. And then a little bit faster, a little bit faster. That's it. And then into your hips. This is my dad dancing. <laughs> and all the way over. And as you do this, you, I want every bit of your hands and arms to be moving. So think about your fingers, think about your wrists, think about your elbows, think about your shoulders. Do a little Mexican wave, why not? <laughs> Good. And then let's have uh, back to your uh, parallel stance, please. And we're going to think about the neck. Shoulders down here. In fact, bring your shoulders up and back and round. Lovely. So we haven't got any kind of slouching or anything like that. You want to be up nice and tall. Let your head just lean over to one side. Now there's an idea here that you're trying to get your ear to touch your shoulder. That's a fine thing to think of, but I don't want your shoulders to be coming up at all. The shoulders are staying nice and low and it's just your ear trying to touch that. Whenever we do an exercise with the neck, remember how delicate the neck is, and so you want to be really gentle on it, but you should feel a nice long stretch along here. Very nice. And then with this hand, even though I'm going to keep it down here, I'll just hold it up so I can demonstrate. I'm going to turn my palm to the wall, but keep your arm down like this. Let's turn our palms to the wall now. That's it, and you can just feel an extra little stretch along here. Lovely. And give your head a little bit of a wiggle. Very nice. Let's do the same thing. Make sure to keep your shoulders down on this side. And it's just this ear wanting to touch that shoulder. Very nice. You can already feel a bit of a stretch along there. Good. Get this hand. Palm towards that wall. Lovely. And you should just be able to feel a bit more opening up here. Good, for this next one we're going to focus on your arms. This really helps when you're having to sing a lot of music uh, from either a book or a folder, because you might find if, 
if you're holding it, your shoulders tend to come forward a little bit, so this is a good one to open your shoulders back up and just give you a bit of energy up here. So make sure that we're standing in that optimum position again. Breathe in through your nose and swing your arm up to the side. So I'm getting my right arm currently is across my left hand side of the body and I'm just forming a gentle fist here. Breathe in and out. And now get this hand, go past your elbow, go up higher towards your shoulder and just get an anchor on that there. And then you can sort of relax this hand here. But you'll find that this gives you a nice sort of uh, a nice comfortable locking position here and so you go as we breathe in and breathe out this time you're going to just push forward a little bit further now notice that my hips are going to stay facing you I'm not actually going to turn my body like that it might it's just going to be my torso that twists so it just gives you that bit of an extra stretch there let's breathe into your nose and out twist that way Hips still facing me, hips still facing the screen, that's it. And then just wiggle your fingers, ta -da. <laughs> Let's try another one of those. Again, only go as far as is comfortable for you, but it will be good to have a nice deep stretch, get your body really woken up. Let's try another one, breathe in through your nose, and a little bit further. Very nice. And this arm, if you stick out in front of you, I can't really show you on here because of this perspective. This arm might feel a bit longer <laughs> right now. I know that sounds bizarre. Let's balance it out. So again, hips still facing me. And you're going to breathe in through your nose and swing up. <sighs> Gentle fist over here. Getting this arm now higher than the elbow. Find that comfortable lock in. And you can relax this hand now. And we're going to do the same thing, but twisting that way ever so slightly. Only your torso twisting, keep your hips facing me. That's it. Breathe in through your nose. And out. That's it, very nice. And try and keep your head facing me as well. That's a, I haven't said that before. Uh, let's try another one. Breathe in through your nose. And out. Good. So my hips are still facing you and my head is still facing you. It's just my torso is getting that twist. Very nice. Now get your hand under here. For me, this is uh, my collarbone just here. So my fingers and my thumb are sitting just underneath. I'm going to rub those muscles there. Give them a nice warm up as well. Why don't we try a hum? I want you to chat to me, <laughs> but only through a hum. Why don't we have a chat about our day and see what shocking things we can come up with? Go as high and low as you can, go all the way through. <laughs> Lovely. For this next exercise, we're going to go a little bit more primitive, I suppose you could say. <laughs> so back help and give yourself as much space as possible. We're going to huh, assume a more caveman-like stance where you're sitting lower in the body and your centre of gravity has dropped somewhat, let your arms feel very heavy and we're going to swing back and forth, opening up this lower range. Repeat after me. Oh, oh, oh. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Go. Let's get your arms feeling really heavy and we're going to go, oh, oh, oh. Ah, e, 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 Brilliant, very, very nice. Okay, big news. Today is your fifth birthday. Congratulations, but you didn't. No, don't know if it's actually a birthday or not. If it is, happy birthday. If it's not, happy on birthday. But for the purposes of this, it's your fifth birthday. And these are your five candles on your cake, okay? Hold up your hand like this, facing yourself, and we're going to blow out those candles. But we're not just going to go, because that, that wouldn't do anything, and that wouldn't get the wish. So what I want you to do is imagine that you are blowing out these candles with a nice, short, sharp burst. Okay, but I knew this is where the hand comes in. 
If you know that you haven't blown it that well, they're not even going to flicker. They're sort of just going to go, uh, I'll move it slightly. But if you properly blow them out, the birthday candles will have blown out and you'll have succeeded and you will have won the fifth birthday because it's a game. Hold out your hand like this. <laughs> and we're going to blow out these candles. So take a good breath right into your stomach. Off we go. Go. I blow out all mine. Did you blow out yours? Let's see. Why don't you move your hand further away from you? Okay, so now my elbow is still crooked. It's not as far as it could be, but we're going to try it again. Off we go. Breathe in. Go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, extend your hand as far as you can. Oh, it's hard to get that comfortable. I might do it this way. I might have my hand facing out. If you want to swap, then please do. Off we go. Now, this is the hard one because you've never had to blow out candles from this distance before. This must be, it must just be a really long cake. I don't know. And all the candles are grouped together. Stop waffling yourself in. Get on with it. Okay. <laughs> Take a deep breath right down to your hand and your stomach. Off we go. Very nice. Did you feel that energy in your diaphragm there that it was having to go? It was really having to move there. Excellent. So we're going to try the sirening noises again, but instead of a or an NG or an N, we're going to do it on either a rolled R, a rolled literal, or puffy cheeks. That one's reserved for if you can't do either of the other two, but you can give it a go, of course you can. If you have any trouble with the lip trill in particular, it helps to put your uh, index fingers just on the corners of your mouth. It allows a little bit more tension uh, to assist you making the sound. So, or, which I think sounds like a trumpet. Okay, off we go around in a circle and again get your hand out and you can show me how high and how low and everything in between that you're going. Start with one sound and then I might shout change and I want you to change to one of the other three. Okay, off we go. Change. some vocal stuff there. So we're going to carry on with some of those and noises but this time we're going to put them to arpeggios and scales. Why don't we start here this on B major and let's start with a rolled R on off we go breathe in carrying on but with the from there. Let's try that same chord here, we're already at E flat, here we go. Then from here, 
let's finish it off with the trumpet noise. Now this is really, really uber relaxed. You're not trying to make a noise. There's no tension here at all. If anything, it's like when you sit down at the end of a long day and go like that. It's really that kind of feeling. So from here, we're on A flat. And if you want to slide between each note, feel free. Off we go. Breathe in. to say for me, ma ha ha ha, off we go, ma ha ha ha, it's a weird kind of laughter that I think Father Christmas might do on this day off, rather than ho ho ho, it's ma ha ha ha, okay, now for this one we're going to be singing ma ha ha ha, nice light and springy on these ones, and let's work our way downwards, same vowel all the way through, off we go, deep breath, three, That's a low D. Well done. Marvellous. Well, thank you for joining me today and I will see you at the next one. Bye. Deus in adiutorium meum intente.